fit, formidable, and fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. It should be ever apparent that the animal agriculture industry as a whole couldn't give a fuck about your health, your children's health, or the environment. So many people gladly hand over their money and patronage to these assholes. For the animal agriculture industry, it's ultimately about turning a profit and the manners in which that they can accelerate that said profit, even at the cost of potential health and environmental hazards. You are just a breathing dollar sign to them, one of billions, and when you die, you will be replaced by another breathing dollar sign, as people are born into their vicious cycle of dietary indoctrination. Sheep that are unable or unwilling to see through the veil and break free. So allow me to provide you an example of why, detailing an article published by the journal Nature this past November. After two decades in regulatory limbo, the FDA has finally approved the first genetically engineered animal for human consumption in the U.S. It is being dubbed Aqua Advantage Salmon. These salmon produce twice the amount of growth hormone as conventional salmon and thus can reach market size in half the time. Furthermore, the FDA will not require any labeling to indicate that these fish are genetically engineered. Thus, the non-vegan fish consumer may very likely have no fucking idea what they're buying. And as J.D. Hansen at the Center for Food Safety in Washington, D.C. has remarked, if this is such a good product, the company itself should be saying it will be labeled. Which is a valid point. Now, despite criticism from some of you, I've mentioned before that I don't really have any inherent issues with genetic engineering, at least not as a technology. However, depending on its use, there can indeed be problems. I am pointing this out merely to prevent anyone from overgeneralizing my feelings on this seemingly delicate matter, I'll also to prevent myself from being misquoted or misunderstood. Um, however, there may be very real problems associated with a specific case of genetic engineering. First of all, bear in mind, these fish are engineered to produce twice the growth hormone of regular salmon. And excess hormones in food can contribute to a myriad health problems in humans, including cancer and early puberty in girls. However, the FDA claims the growth hormone in aqua bounty salmon is expected to be inconsequential to your health. Key word there, expected. That's not a guarantee. It still remains that other hormones may also increase as a result of this, namely IGF-1. Bear in mind, research indicates that milk from RBGH-treated cows contains up to 10 times more IGF than other milk. This poses a similar concern with regards to the salmon. Research has demonstrated that high blood levels of IGF, regardless of the cause, have been associated with a 65% increased risk in breast cancer and a 50% increased risk in prostate cancer. And these salmon are being modified via a recumbent DNA construct by injecting protein and RNA into embryos. Recall what I just mentioned about the researched health risks of RBGH-treated milk. RBGH meaning uh, recumbent bovine growth hormone. Uh, used in a process where this genetically engineered artificial hormone is injected into dairy cows to make them produce more milk. Now, I may not be an expert, but that screams similarities. But it isn't just your health, but also potential fucking impacts on the ecosystem. According to the group responsible for the salmon, there are physical and biological safeguards in place to reduce the chance of escape into the wild. However, reduce and eliminate have different meanings, and then factor in human error. Thus, the potential result of an altered natural ecosystem is a very viable concern uh, if any of these salmon were to get loose. But FDA approval, though. Even beyond your health and the ecosystem, there's the root fact that we are manipulating, exploiting, and harming sentient animals, in this case, fish. Extensive evidence of fish behavioral and cognitive sophistication and pain perception suggests that they are indeed sentient. There is evidence that they develop cultural traditions, can recognize themselves and others, show signs of intelligence such as cooperation and reconciliation, possess primary senses that not only rival, but can even exceed humans, and they display mental complexity and a capacity to feel pain in a manner similar to humans. Why must we continue the savagery? Most of the population of Earth do not live in harsh survival conditions. Thus, the consumption of animal products is purely for selfish reasons. We simply do not need animal products to survive or thrive, not in any stage of life, not even as athletes. 
And the consumption of animal products in general is also detrimental to our health. For instance, a 2009 study found that children who consumed the most protein from animal sources entered puberty about seven months earlier than those who consumed the least. And according to Dr. Thomas Remmer, professor at the Research Institute of Child Nutrition in Germany, it doesn't matter so much if it's milk, cheese, or meat. All of these animal proteins have a clear impact on our IGF system. With that said, remember what I previously mentioned about IGF-1 and cancer. So really, why continue? Why exploit and kill sentient beings? Why fuck over your health and your children's health? Why fuck over the planet you live on? Your only home. Seems like a strong marker of stupidity to me. Perhaps we don't deserve to survive as a species if we're too fucking dumb to put aside selfish desires for the greater good. Because mm-mm taste good. Or because muscles, bro. Or because, duh, my ancestors did it. <laughs> or because lions do it. Or because fashion motherfucker. Or any other redundant but selfish and or simple-minded excuse. And just bear in mind, with the approval of this salmon, more doors have opened. The same company has remarked that it is developing several other animals, including cattle that do not have to be dehorned and pigs that do not need to be castrated. It is abundantly clear the animal agriculture industry couldn't give a fuck about your health, your children's health, or the environment, and apparently nor does the government. It should also be abundantly clear what everyone needs to do. Go fucking vegan! Otherwise, you're just condoning these atrocities against the planet, and that makes you either stupid or ignorant. So, take your pick. And if you've watched this video, you can no longer claim ignorance, so you know what you need to do. Go vegan! Anyway, end rant there. If you found this video informative or eye-opening and want the message to reach others, please like and share it rapidly. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. This way you can keep on top of the twice-weekly updates. Otherwise, till we meet again.